What's up everyone, it's Scotty with MoneyVest. So in this video, I wanted to break down the unemployment numbers over in the US that came out about 15 minutes ago. So this is absolutely critical breaking information that we just got from the labor department over in the US with the unemployment rate now taking even higher to 4.1%, something that many market participants, investors, and of course the more optimistic and bullish investors were hoping for because that again is going to indicate a more uh more sort of accommodating federal reserve because they're not going to be as hawkish and as aggressive with keeping interest rates higher for longer because we are now absolutely for a fact seeing the higher interest rates affecting the overall economy so hope you all enjoy this video and this is where we are with the actual unemployment rate so right now at four percent which was the previous month's number and the june report we just got so this right here are the actual unemployment numbers 206,000 jobs added in the month of june 136,000 are going to be those private payrolls 8,000 decline in manufacturing payrolls that's actually a very very important statistic when it comes to understanding a potential for a recession because construction workers manufacturing jobs if they actually start to get if they start coming down if they're actually losing jobs in that particular sector that means we're not building stuff we're not constructing stuff we're not manufacturing stuff and that again is one of the early signs or early indicators of a slowing down economy or potentially even a contracting economy as well 62.6 percent participation rate and the more important number the powerball number at 4.1 percent unemployment rate ticking higher from four percent as of the previous month but you guys know that i'm more interested in, in the unemployed persons not just the unemployment rate but the unemployed persons and that's going to be this number over here the civilian unemployment you'll notice that during the pandemic of course we had over 23 million people in the u.s unemployed that number has come down it kind of averaged about 5.7 5.5 million and then slowly and steadily has been taking higher and higher and from the previous month of about 6.6 .6 million this number is now sitting at well over 6.8 million people 6.81 to be precise so if we plug in these values into our spreadsheet and i'm also going to include the joel's report that came out earlier this week at 8.1 million much higher than what the consensus was so we do have a lot of job openings 8.14 so i'm going to plug this number in 8.14 and then we're going to also plug in for the unemployed civilians so that's going to be 6.811 so we're going to come over here we're going to plug in for 6.811 and now take a look at this number over here if, if i hit enter now we're sitting at 4.1 unemployment rate if i go down to two decimal points we're just a little bit under 4.1 percent which again is an increase from the previous month's number of 3.99 so we did go up by a full percentage point uh, for uh, the unemployment rate which again is something troubling i mean it's it's a little bit more concerning because uh interest rates sooner or later are going to be affecting the economy and the unemployment as well and the interesting thing is that if you come over to the federal reserve's website so if you go to federalreserve.gov you can actually take a look at a lot of this data yourself you can come over to meeting and calendars and let's just scroll down for a little bit june 11th and 12th was the last uh, fomc meeting along with the summary of economic projections if you come over to this projection materials pdf and then if you click on this if you come down a little bit further you'll notice that 2024 the unemployment rate the unemployment rate the federal reserve was all this already expecting at four percent and now we have already surpassed that level as of today we have already surpassed the federal reserve's own projection for unemployment rate of four percent is what they were expecting in 2024 so we're already at 4.1 their march projection was also at four percent so that was kept unchanged in the june meeting and we're already at 4.1 folks so i do strongly believe that i think there is a possibility that the federal reserve is going to announce uh some type of quantitative easing to help support the economy However, there is going to be some dilemma with regards to whether this is still considered too soon to cut because inflation is still taking its sweet time to come down. We're nowhere near close to the 2% target yet. The core PCE number from the Federal Reserve themselves is expected to be at 2.8% in 2024. So we're nowhere near close to the 2% level just yet. And the federal funds rate, uh, of course, 5.1%, which was upped 
from 4.6%. Now, before we move further, please make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Again, if you're joining us for the first time, drop a like and subscribe. And also our Money Vest beta launch and the early access is going to be happening in four days. You can take advantage of a 51% discount if you want. You can lock this pricing in for life until of course you cancel and you'll be able to access everything from fundamental analysis, all the financial metrics, everything's going to be included on the platform. And we've also got a 4th of July sale. So an observance of the Independence Day over in the US, we've got a 60% discount coupon code July 4 available and active for two more days. So you can take advantage of that over 60% off on all individual courses and bundles as well. And of course the MoneyVest platform available in four days with a 51% discount. Okay, so back to the markets here. So if you come over to Twitter, there was a post from RenMac, Renaissance Macro Research, and they essentially said that this is not a close call. Uh, the unemployment rate is climbing and payroll growth is slowing. Conditions in the labor market are cooling off. The trade-offs for the Federal Reserve have shifted. If they don't cut this month, they ought to make a strong signal that a cut is coming in September. And the market's pricing in for, if you come over here to probabilities, now the markets are looking for one more pause in the July 31st meeting, and then a cut in September, a cut in December. So markets are pricing in for two rate cuts in 2024, which I think are going to most likely be aligned with what the Federal Reserve ends up doing. But again, all eyes and ears are going to be on where inflation data is. Inflation numbers also are going to be coming out very soon. So if you come over here uh, to subjects, if you go to consumer price index, the next inflation print is going to be released on July 11. So next week, we've got the we've got the inflation number, the CPI numbers at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Of course, I'll be live to cover those numbers, but we've got very important numbers coming out next week for CPI. But all in all, Unemployment is taking higher now to 4.1%, and we are now at 6.8 million unemployed persons. Back in dot com bubble 2000s, 8.5 was enough to get us to over 6.2% in the unemployment rate. And uh, just to put things in perspective here, if let's say that we have the same amount of unemployed persons, 8.5 million, we're going to be at 5.1% because the population growth has been substantial uh, in the last 24 years. So we've basically gone from 227 million eligible workers to now sitting at 266 million eligible workers. And the participating population has gone from 137 million to over 166 million. So even at eight and a half million unemployed persons, that's still going to only make up for 5% of the participating population. So although less in terms of a percentage, it's still going to be a lot of people unemployed and out of jobs at over 8 million. But right now we're closing in on 7 million people, which in itself is a pretty substantial number. And unemployment rate, of course, is moving higher. And again, just to put things in perspective, 24 years ago, if we had the same number of 6.81 million, if you plug this number in over here, we'd already be at close to 5 percent. We're just scratching the surface here of over 4% right now because of the population increase. But if this number was valid in 24 years ago in 2000s, we would already be at almost 5%. And if this number was valid back in the great inflations of 1970s, if you plug in for 6.81 over here, would already be over 6.5% in unemployment rate. So yes, in a percentage terms, we are lower because we got more workers, more people participating in as, as a percentage of population working. Uh, but this right here is still a number that's ticking higher and higher slowly and steadily. And of course, unemployment also ticking up well above the Fed's own target that they've put down in their summary of economic projections. So I strongly believe that there's only so much time left for the economy to maintain uh, and of course survive these higher interest rates uh, because we're starting to see some cracks in the labor market already. Uh, I think it's only a matter of time before we started to see the economic contractions or weakening or slowing down in the economy as well because a lot of the spending is fueled by credit cards, by a lot of debt. And that's something that we have discussed in our previous videos as well. And for those reasons, I wouldn't be surprised that either A, the economy starts to contract and we go into somewhat of a mild recession, labor market starts to weaken, unemployment starts to go up. Either that happens or B, Federal Reserve comes out and says that, okay, we're going to take some foot off the gas. We're going to start cutting interest rates. We're ready. Uh, you know, that either that happens in July or September, but we actually start the process of quantitative easing or C, 
we go through both processes, we go into a recession first and the cut comes later. But either way, that is essentially the game plan. Next six months, very, very important with the elections also upon us over in the US. So hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts. QQQs right now are 13 basis points higher. S&P 500 up about eight basis points, so more or less flat. But in market terms, this is somewhat of a bullish report because unemployment rate taking higher again, sort of reiterates that possibility for the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates more aggressively uh, because bad news for the economy could very well be good news for the market and vice versa. And right now, I believe that this could be uh, a, somewhat of a good news for the entire market at the moment, because again, that's going to reiterate the possibility for some quantitative easing from uh, the Federal Reserve. So hope you all enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Make sure you drop a like. Don't forget to join our Patreon to get access to the MoneyVest platform in about three to four days, 51% off. You can lock this pricing in, do full comprehensive in-depth analysis along with our macro dashboard which is going to be coming on board in our future updates and also do check out the educational courses 60 percent off coupon code july 4 valid for just two more days and uh, as always happy investing and i'll see you all in the next video